Hello everybody, this is Janice, and today I'm going to be making this mail card. Um, I have a few friends that are males that really do um, inspire me in terms of everything that they do for God and um, serve others and just go out of their way to leave a legacy and I thought this is really clever because the leaves on here leave a legacy <laughs> um, and so I tried to keep it male like and simple um, but I did some cool things with the flocking if you can see there the flocking so I'm gonna go ahead and make this card I'm gonna um, zoom in a little bit more on my area I feel like on the videos I'm a little bit far away so let's see how this goes, how you like this. All right, um, first of all, I'm using this stamp that I got from Robin that is from Michaels from the Ditto section there. And I miss my laptop. <laughs> my husband has it and I won't have it till Saturday. And um, the computer that I'm using to upload my my um, it's a PC and it's old and it takes forever to upload my videos so I'm sorry that I've been a little slow on comments like your comments I always love to respond back and I just haven't everything about the computer is slow everything everything there's so much that I need to do and so much that I uh, depend on my laptop for and I'm having a hard time with how slow it is. I'm spoiled is what it is. Um, the card base I'm using, this is this one was the same thing. It's the cream colored uh, paper tray ink paper. So I'm using my last cream one. I need to order some. I really like this paper. I'm very pleased with it. I, I really, I knew that I would be because so many of you recommend it. So thanks again, Christina, if you're watching this video sending me the sample now I'm hooked thank you very much all right and I'm gonna um, this is red paper from recollections and I cut it at let's see four by five and a quarter okay and the cards gonna be um, four and a quarter by five and a half standard a2 size. So we're just going to add this layer here and then we're going to work on our panel that's going to go on here. So what I have now is a three and three quarter by five inch white piece of paper from Recollections as well. And um, I'm going to stamp. I'm going to try. On this one, I used. Um, what is that called? Um, shabby shutters on this one. I'm going to try peeled paint this time. I always like to try different things. I get bored. <laughs> I do the same thing all the time. It's just a piece of foam, thick, fun foam. You can get in the kids' department a craft mat that I cut down. And here's my paper. And um, I'm going to do something that I didn't do on the other, but I wanted to and um, wasn't able to because the ink dried. I'm going to heat emboss this with clear embossing powder. Okay, so peeled paint. Now, see this leaf right here? Okay, I want it to be kind of towards the top. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. And I love this Fiskars stamp press because I can line up the lines and then I can kind of uh, realign it. Now this Ditto stamp does not line up, by the way, which is fine with me for this. And especially with leaves. It's okay because, you know, it doesn't really need to line up because it's a, a random type of pattern.
pattern, so it's okay. But if you get one that really does need to be realigned, if you're going to do a big area, they don't. They don't realign. So just so you know that. Okay, now I'm going to continue my pattern. And I'll show you that it does not realign. Even if, you know, because I've tried, it doesn't. But it won't really matter. See? It still looks nice. I didn't really need to re-ink that whole thing. It's going to... Oh, I didn't. Hmm. That's not good. It's kind of hard when you're doing it on camera because, yeah, it's bad. Not what I wanted to do. But we're going to keep going because I got to go. I got things I got to do today. Oh my gosh, yes I do. I just thought of something that I haven't done that I have got to do before tomorrow morning. Tomorrow we have field day. Even though my son is homeschooled, we still get to do, the, do these fun things because we have such great people that plan these things, these activities. So tomorrow we have field day and I'm on the committee and I need to go get something for field day tomorrow. Yeah, this isn't working. Usually, I think it's because it's a fine line. Usually you can emboss, because I do it all the time, emboss with this ink, because it's so wet, but it's not really working, so I'm not even going to bother with that. We're just going to All right, so there you see it's not lined up, but that's okay because there's a lot of different elements. Now, um, the circle I got from George, and it is a three inch circle, and then th this is actually from Elegant Edges, and I cut this at, it's a one inch, and it cuts out 5.07 width which I don't need. I just need it to be the width of this paper here. So I'm just going to cut it, snip it. I got a new pair of scissors yesterday at Tuesday morning. They're these tonic ones and they were $1.99 so I thought I would try them out. I like them. Okay, and I cut off a little smidge there but that's okay. All right, so so yes, it looks like a ticket, doesn't it? Isn't that cool? I like that. And that's what I'm going to use for my sentiment. Now I'm going to use, if you can see on this one, it's crooked. <laughs> so I don't know why I do that to myself. I'm going to use my beloved Stampamajig. I do like this tool. Sometimes I just think, oh, I can do it. Not really. So I've got this Leave a Legacy stamp. This came from Michaels. I've had it for a while. It's the first time I'm using it. I don't even remember when I got it. Okay, so this is what you do. You get your little sleeve here. The, the rough side is the side you stamp on. And I just used Memento Tuxedo Black because I know that will come off. Okay, and it doesn't really matter because we're going to clean that off. I just want to line it up at the bottom here. See how cool that is? So now I can get an accurate placement. And I want it to be out a little bit because I'm going to use a tiny attacher stapler to attach it to the card. So we're going to do this and then we take our oops and I moved it. But I can realign it here. Okay. 
I'm going to clean this off with a wet wipe. What did I do with it? Threw it in the trash. There it is. Okay. And these are very juicy wet wipes. So then I have to use my cloth and just kind of dry it off. Okay. Now what I want to do is use two colors. I'm going to use chili powder from Jenny Bowen. And we can use the tuxedo black for the Leva. And I want to emboss the legacy part. So what we're going to do is just, whoa, I almost dropped it. We're just going to stamp with Versamark the Leva legacy part. I mean the legacy, the word legacy. And then we'll take our tuxedo black and just do the other two words. So I just kind of hold it sideways and that way I can see what I'm doing. That's nice and juicy. And I'll take chili powder and do the word legacy. A couple times, maybe three times. All right. Now we move the you know, just hold this down tight. And now I am going to be stamping it precisely where I want it. Nice and straight. Definitely worth it. I love that tool. Okay, so now what we want to do is clear emboss the word legacy. I'm going to use my little spoon that I got from Sparkle and Sprinkle at the Scrapbook Expo last time we went. They're going to be there again this year. Definitely be visiting their booth. Oh, am I kidding? I'll be visiting every booth. Eat. Sapphire. It's a new ink to me. And I'm just going to ink this up. Really like this color a lot. I actually got it from Blitzy when they had the um, inks. notice it's hard to find it. I mean, I haven't seen it in any stores. So I feel bad that I didn't get you one, Robin. I really like it. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so there's that element. And, um, okay, now we need to work with the circle. I said it's a three inch circle and I need to clean off this stamp because we're going to put a different color now. We're going to use the Jenny Bowen seed packet. Like her inks. 
And then now what I'm going to do is I want this right here to be kind of centered here. And it's not going to stamp the whole circle. And that's okay. Okay. Now I'm going to clean off. Now what we want to do is I want to use this old paper on both the circle and the this rectangle because I want it to match the paper. So I'm just going to go around. But I don't want it to go all the way to the center. In fact, I'm going to be doing this circle again in a moment. The first time I did it, it was an afterthought and I like the way it turned out. Of course, I could have just used a clean color paper that I have, but um, I didn't think of this till after. So it's nice to see that you know your distress inks are good because you can um, customize your paper. You know, if you happen to have a lot of white, and I could see myself stamping on that paper, that paper tray ink paper. I have a feeling that once I order it, I'm going to like it so much, and then I'm going to end up ordering all the colors. I just know. I've been on this road before. I know myself. All right, now, this is really cool. I love this block. I love it, love it, love it. And I've had block before, but somehow I'm enjoying using this block better than the cheap stuff that I got from Michael's from the dollar bin. I don't know. It, it, it might just be me thinking that it's better because Robin gave it to me. And if Robin gives me anything, it's the best. You know how that is. So, again, if you remember, I've told you before, unless you're new and didn't hear me say this, this bottle holds, does not have this glue in it. It has my, um, Scotch Quick Dry uh, because I like this tip on it. It's finer and I can control the glue better. So I saved it and that's what I have in here. Okay. Even though I do like the glue that's in here, normally this Tombow glue, I like it. I just had the Scotch Quick Dry so I wanted to use it up because I don't like to waste and I don't like to have something if I'm not going to use it. I just feel like it's a waste of space <laughs> and resources. So, okay, so did you see what I did? I colored in the leaf and now while it's still wet, I just smush it into the into this little pile of and there seems to be a spot that I missed right there. And, oh, you know what? I didn't do what I did last time. Darn. That's going to be a problem. All right, well, let's carry on. I used my Bic um, Key Lime. I'm using my Bic Markets more ever since I put them where I put them. They're on my desk. And if you saw that video, you know what I'm talking about. And so all I'm going to do is color this in, and mercy me, this is going to take some time. It doesn't have to be super neat, because all I'm trying to do is prevent this problem. See how, because it's not colored there, you can see underneath. So this way, you know, if you miss a little spot, it's not a big deal. I'm not trying to do blending or anything like that, so I need to stop trying to color this perfectly. You just want to cover it. Now right here where the leaf goes over, that other leaf, I'm going to cover that up, so it doesn't matter. So 
I think I'm going to be using this technique more now that I know. And she got me just the right colors, all the colors that I love. She got me. I still went back to see if Marshall's had any more of this, and I didn't find any. Okay, so now we're going to take like what we were doing. And of course, I'm going to need more on here. And I just do one leaf at a time. I try to do two leaves and the glue dries too fast and then the flock doesn't stick to it as well. You know, and if you go over the lines, you can use your tweezers or anything, sh you know, with a little point to uh, pick it up, to clean it up basically. And I'll go back and do some more. Just kind of be careful around the edges. If you're going to glob it on, I would glob it in the middle. And it does clog, but I have a needle by close by all the time. And um, when it does clog, it seems easier to unclog. So see what I did? I put kind of a big glob in the middle and then just move it around. Love it. Love it. So. So many things that I want to do with this technique. Now, I just, I will have you know, I did also do this with my pen, with my two-way glue pen, the squeeze one, and it works with that too. With that one, I let it dry a little bit, I let it go clear. You know how that glue, when it comes out, it comes out blue, and then once it turns clear, it's a, it's a tacky repositionable adhesive, but it's great for this technique. Um, but since this is such, these leaves are so big, I thought it would go faster to do this. So I tried it and I found that it works. But for a tiny area, the squeeze and roll pen, two-way glue pen works. Just fine. Now here I was a little messy. And I'm just gonna clean that up there and okay. Three more leaves. Bear with me. And again, it's clogging. And of course, I made a hole in the um, side of the bottle by accident, not the bottle, the nozzle, when I was, um, and so when it starts to clog, it starts coming out that side hole, but I still love this bottle. My friend, my friend, Christina Brooks. She has a blog called Card Creations and More by C. I think that's her YouTube name too. She has these tiny bottles that she had told us that she got them, um, you know, in Michaels. And I have never been able to find those because they have a very fine, fine tip. And she uses them in her videos. And I so want those. But. I can't find it, and every time I'm in there, I'm always in such a hurry, you know, that I don't dedicate more time to finding them. I 
I even asked somebody to help me find them. And, um, I didn't really know what I was talking about, so... You know, and I work there, but when I'm working, I don't really have time to look for myself, because, you know, I'm working, helping other people, so there. Okay. So, I'll save this for later. Okay, and then I'm going to take my old paper again. And it's going to go... And I want to leave the center because it's kind of like a highlight behind there. Okay, so we're almost done. This goes here. Take my tiny attacher and just put a little staple to attach this. Like I said, since it's a guy card, I think it's a nice touch. I might make this for my pastor, too. I think he would like it, too. He would get it, too. We have a wonderful pastor at our church. He's a visionary, you know. And I love people like that. And this is that my friend that I'm making this for, that inspired me to make this for, is a visionary. I just so admire his vision. And oh, I put it up too high. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh well, that's okay. It's gonna cut. These scissors here are from Provocraft. I'm not sure if you can get them in the stores anymore, but they are the non-stick. They're kind of like the Tim Holtz, but smaller. I prefer the Tim Holtz ones because of they're bigger. But they were right within my reach. I'm trying to finish this video because it's another long one. And yeah, it takes a long time. Somebody asked me what kind of software I use. I don't really use any software. All I do is I stick my flip into the computer. And right now I'm using a PC because my Mac is with my husband. I hope he doesn't fall in love with it because I really want it back when he gets home. And um, anyway, but with the PC, I put it in to the little... USB port and I go to YouTube and say upload and I get it from my computer and it takes forever forever it takes a long time on my Mac but it seems to take longer with this um, PC that I'm using so anyway there's my card I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching thank you for all your comments and um, you know, feel free to leave me any questions or if there's something you would like me to do and show you, any technique or a tool question, anything, just go ahead and ask. If I can help you, I will. Thanks for watching. Bye.